Welcome back to the UPS Forwarding Hub. Let's learn how to book a shipment. First, make sure you're logged into the hub. To get started, you'll need a quote. You may use a quote you've already saved or start fresh by clicking the Quote tab. For this example, let's start a new international air freight shipment. You'll need to pick your service, in this case, air. Our origin, Shanghai, China. Our destination, the already linked account in Alpharetta, Georgia. And how payment will be handled. This shipment will be paid collect, which means the consignee is designated to pay the freight. Because this is an international air shipment, you'll need to choose an ECO term from the drop-down menu. Depending on whether the origin or destination party is designated to pay, you'll see different ECO term options in the drop-down. Since our linked account at destination will handle payment, we'll select the X Works ECO term. For more information about ECO terms, simply click here. Our quote is almost done, just a few more steps. The shipment requires no special handling and will keep the metric system for our dimensions. One piece, 200 kilos, 40 centimeters square. Now click Submit. Wait a few minutes while we crunch the numbers. And here are our quote options. For international air freight, you may select from three options, offering different times in transit, plus options to add customs clearance and insurance services. We've selected UPS Air Freight Direct. Now click Request Booking to get started. And here we go. You'll need to provide information about the pickup, the address, when the cargo will be ready, and if there are any specific requests for how to handle it. Note, if you are not the shipper or are not aware of when the freight will be ready at origin, you may select, I don't know. Next, the shipper contact information at origin. This is critical. A UPS representative will contact this person to confirm the pickup time and any special requests, as well as to discuss shipping documentation needs. If everything looks good, click continue. Next, let's provide information about the delivery destination. Good news! Since you linked an account at destination back in the quote flow, it's already here to save you time. If you didn't link an account, simply key in the delivery information. Be sure to include any delivery details and a destination point of contact. Remember, if you ever need to return to a previous screen, just hit the Back button. Now click Continue. Don't worry, if you forget anything, the Hub will let you know. Almost done. Just review and approve the charges. Your booking request is now complete. A UPS representative at origin, Shanghai in this case, will coordinate the shipment with your contact there. The shipper, consignee, and booking parties will receive a confirmation email. And once the shipment has been created, a tracking number will also be emailed. Plus, that tracking number will auto-populate to your hub dashboard for easy tracking. One more thing. If you have them, now would be a good time to upload any important shipping documents, like the shipper's letter of instruction, commercial invoice, or packing list. Just click Upload. Then drag and drop your documents right from your desktop. When everything is uploaded, click Submit. If you don't have them now, you can always come back and add them later at your convenience. Congratulations! You've just booked your first shipment through the UPS Forwarding Hub. And remember, if at any time you need help, you can click the Support button or the Help Center button on any screen.